welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkington. In this episode, I wanted to show you guys how to turn your computer into a nice little mixer for free. So if you're into DJing, you love music, or you just want to go ahead and try it out yourself, this is a great way of kind of getting into it uh, since it is completely open sourced. And as you can see at the very top, it is called MIXXX or Mix. And so I'm just going to show you quickly just kind of a brief overview of it. Uh, I've only had a few seconds to play with it. Uh, but as you can see, let me see if I can play some music here. Oops. So as you see, I have two of the same songs here. So I'm going to kind of rewind this one here. And we will then put... this one out of commission we will come over here and let me see if I can add this song to it oh, it looks like it went to that one so I got collapse over there and I have blink over here so for this I will then go ahead and sync that song to this I'm then gonna press play I'm gonna go ahead and give my headphones So as you can see, it takes a while to get kind of used to, especially because I'm working on a trackpad here and I really don't want to get too deep into it mixing it because obviously I will get done by YouTube as they like to bring videos down quickly about that type of stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what's going on here and really the brief overview of it is, is you need to make sure that you can come into your options. So as you can see, you can kind of, you know, enable your vinyl control and so forth. Uh, you can enable live broadcasting, you can record your mixes, come into your preferences, and this is where you'll be able to really get into some of the stuff. Uh, come in here and manipulate your beep, uh, your controllers. So if you want to, uh, what are controllers? If you want to go ahead and add a uh, side mixer, some tables, whatever you want to, you know, kind of throw in there, that's how you're going to control that. Uh, make sure that you do come in here and you manipulate wherever your headphones are, whatever you're working as, uh, your pulse. This is going to be the setup if you are using the audio jack on your computer. Um, live broadcasting, if you want to come in here and where you want to, you know, how you want to do it. Uh, there's tons and tons of stuff to work with this. It's really, you know, this in itself I could really just make an entire tutorial series out of, which I might do in the future when I kind of get into it. I haven't had a chance to play around with this. Uh, but for anybody that's ever had a chance to play with any type of mixing software, you'll see it's pretty simple uh, of how it all works. Uh, just make sure that when you want to hear your sounds, you go ahead and enable your headphones. Uh, this is going to bring you back left and right. So this left side is going to, you know, control this side. Uh, when I go over to the right, it's going to be on this side. When you go in the middle, it's going to be having both of them going at the same time as far as sounds coming out. Uh, if you want to cue it, syncing it up means that you're going to sync up your BPMs to whatever you press. So the sync of this song and the sync of this song work together so even though this is 135 and this is 67 they just kind of work together um, you're going to have a lot of fx's you can add into stuff uh, so your reverbs and you know all that type um, also looping track so if you find a little section that you want to kind of go ahead and loop you can do that and even scratch if you're into that but again uh, you're going to need a certain mouse for that it's going to be kind of hard to manipulate that without having probably a ball mouse which is those mouses that you see a little ball on the top of them uh, they're normally the old school mouses you don't see them used too much but if you can get used to using those mouses you'll have a lot more fun with this um, or at least get a controller and then you can just manipulate the tracks using the actual uh, either a U USB based controller or uh, vinyls that have a hookup to hook up to computers there's tons of stuff out there you can go online and kind of search it up uh, if you're around in the States, you can maybe go to a guitar center and try them out firsthand because normally guitar centers will have uh, sections that are dedicated completely to recording and manipulating audio, such as DJing. And when I talk about this stuff, I'm talking about re -deal, sorry, real DJing. I'm not talking about DJing that you see at some of these 
uh, quote unquote raves or house parties. Uh, those are just more or less, um, I don't, wouldn't even know what to call them. They're just somebody that presses play. Uh, but yeah, real DJing comes down to really scratching and all that type of stuff. Uh, but again, you know, that's kind of an off topic subject. Uh, really, I just wanted to talk about this mix. And it's for all you music lovers out there, and I'm sure you can find something, you know, fun to do with this. If you happen to jump on this and make some really good samples, why don't you go into the comment section and share them with me so I can go ahead and let other people see them. And I'd love to hear what you guys are making. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.